Point of it is, and then I sent you guys another one. How deep is your love? Where this one brother, right, yeah. they're on marathons. The Honestly, brothers are I don't check. Marathons. I didn't get any of these. I don't the brother, check. I don't check my DMs. Right before he's in second, he's in first place. Yeah. He's he's sorry. Ran himself to beyond exhaustion, and he gets about a hundred feet from the darn finish line. Yeah. And he he collapses on the side. Right. That's you. The guy behind him <laughs> goes past and is like, <laughs> the guy behind him goes past and is like, yeah, I'm gonna win now that this guy overexerts. Right. But, the th guy in the third place comes Trips along, him. and when he gets up to him, he grabs him, pushes him over, and carries him, which is illegal. It disqualifies disqualifies both of them. So the guy that now is going to win the, the the silver medal, right, disqualify himself. It was his brother, and he refused to cross the finish line without his brother. Didn't matter if he win or lose. Really, he wanted to do it with his brother. What a schmuck! Wow. So now they're both dude, losers. I sent amazing... these posts to you Wait. two guys, and I get nothing. Well, I gotta be honest. One of them, brother, brother one. I gotta be like... honest with you. I didn't. I didn't carry the them. family name across Wait, the finish line, but again, my point was is that don't worry, I would brothers finish. can work together. I would win one, for you. They guys. can ditch the I ego. Do. I'd say winning. Yes, yes, and they can actually put their minds to a greater cause. No one will be brothers or sisters or siblings. You know what? No one. I agree with that. No and one. You know what's what crazy? If there's Wait two a minute. Very Wait a minute. weak brothers and two very strong men, and like just genetically. No matter how much the brother are you brothers will figure out a we'll way. figure out a way. If this Shut, is, up. Shut up. Shut up. Go in the corner. You know what you're talking flawed. about. Does it's it flawed. sound flawed? Sounds flawed. No, he's wrong. Flawed. It's not flawed. It's not flawed. The brothers will find a way. Not flawed. Okay, because they're brothers. They're brothers. <laughs> it's not like someone pitching us for like a show. They're brothers. The brothers. All right? The brothers come into a town. Truth. They don't like him at Research first. Research it. And all of a sudden at the end of the day, True. they repaint the, the local uh firehouse and they're friends. What do you think? <laughs> no, listen. Um, it's a very true statement. You know what? I agree. I agree with that. And I got to be honest with you. And I got to be honest with you. Um, I think what's amazing is that, speaking of egos. Because the only time we've ever failed, honestly, when you really think about it, it's probably because of our egos got involved. Yeah. In between the three of us. Oh, absolutely. I agree with that. I think. I agree with that. that okay. Here And you know what? To that point, can I be honest with you? Can I be honest My with you? My ego has never there was a period down of time, the ship. Look, we worked together Maybe a lot. Maybe somebody has. Wait a no, we worked together a lot. We worked together a lot. Okay. And, uh, you know. Oh, um, please. Oh, please. Get out of here with that. I love how Matt has all these ego stories that he's yeah. reminiscing about. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. egos can bring yeah. down the ship. You got a huge ego. No. You know, I've been hearing a lot lately, and it makes what? me think I should probably have some, start having, thinking about having a family. What? See, most people out there yeah. don't even take a man seriously without children. Because they feel like a, a, a guy can, like even in hiring, this is an underlying factor. Yeah, that's, that's ego, bro. They won't, hi they'll that's hire ego. the guy who has kids over the guy who doesn't because they feel like he's more responsible. I don't know really? about that. Yeah. It's true. Like it's true. I feel like you know what? Actually, I think that's it's true. I feel like 1952 is calling your name. So my point is, and you need to go no, work at an ad agency. Matt's gonna go work at an ad agency. What? I, okay. It's, it's like what women want. Then I'll be replaced by <laughs> Helen Hunt. It's Mad Men. Actually. <laughs> Damn it! Taking it further back. Oh, further back, right? Ad agency, right? Well, what women want? He worked for an ad agency too. Remember that? Yeah. So that's a slightly newer reference, you know, because no, actually, you're wrong. Oh, you're wrong. Mad you're right. Men. Why would I work for an ad agency? Because 1952 is calling you. I don't know why. Because the men, He's you got a family? Oh, so you got a family. Okay. All right. No, this isn't. You respond. No, this isn't some misogynistic, like, exactly. no, patriarchy. You got three kids and a woman planet. working in the kitchen at home? No. 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 I mean, saying, what are you talking about? It's so weird. He's just saying that he's saying Man with that, a family, wife and kids. He's saying that, wait a minute. He's That's a rock. That a person with children is perceived Let me ask you something. Person. If you got a man pulling 5,000 pounds, and oh, then you got a man with a family, <laughs> they could pull 52,000 pounds. Why? Because there's a family that they're pulling for. He's on a roll. This is they're pulling for. He's being a little shit, dude. Just yep. ignore him. Ignore him. Circling right. back around to a week ago or two weeks ago, whatever it was, we were talking about casting your pearls to swine. Yeah. I mean, hold on a minute. We did have an ego for a while, and I'll tell you when it when it set in. It was no, like we a, don't. It was a collective. Weird don't say thing. we. Well, not really. You gotta single yourselves out. You're for right. Your no, egos. I, uh, no. Here's the deal. We all had this huge ego back then. No, we, we didn't. Now, we, we didn't. We didn't. I said a little bit. I'm like, what are you but, talking about? But I we never... did allow certain tendencies at certain times to get involved Absolutely. of the creative process, and We're I think all guilty it, of it. And I think that Period. we are. <laughs> yep. And I think why are you roping me in? I'm just a little brother. You should have guilt. Oh, what done By anything. association, I guess, yeah. here. This is what yeah, the, yeah. You need to start to assume responsibility. A little bit of responsibility I mean, for what you caused. All of the problems. Uh, like, <laughs> you guys are insane. No, you. And I think, sorry. And I think that, and I think that we, honestly, I think that, that we missed out on like a good 10, 12 years of creating together. That's why I brought it up. Right. And I think that when, 
I don't know what it was. Like, what, three, four years ago, we just said, you know what? This is silly. And I think I know why Andy pointed to me. He's talking about ego. And that is because you actually... Well, yes. my, I never had one of those overinflated egos. I just never did. No, but, no. But didn't. there was a period there where I, you were Despise the- Despise you guys. You had come up <laughs> as the heartthrob. Right, right, right. right. You oh, were the, the, right. You know, the t very recognizable TV, this and that. And Who, me? They wanted- That's weird. They, uh, the, weird. they, but the powers that be, you know, people who ran networks or television- the Powers they, that be, mom. They, they wanted to- <laughs> <laughs> Our mother. You know. They wanted to slide me into that same- Right. Right, thing right and you didn't so want that. and i didn't want it um and that was mainly just because i wanted to forge my own road you know it's a classic thing it. like any sibling's gonna go through no, with dude, any other sibling i get it man i get it so or, what may have been perceived as maybe. ego and maybe there was a little bit in it but really what it was was just at 18 or 19 i was like i'm done working in the brothers thing and i want to go do my own thing right it was just like you know yeah what justin timberlake did in sync yeah, well, I get it. No, you go like I. Are you saying I'm that you're just? <laughs> I was waiting like, for you to oh pick that God. up. I was waiting for that. that. That was a bad analogy, yes. but it's just like anything else. I just wanted to be. So that's why I was the first one to go and try to do my own thing. That's what Oates did to Hall and Oates. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Didn't work out too good. Um, no, but uh, you know, I I just feel like um, you're probably right. That's probably what that Started was for it. you. But but regardless, yeah. And then I think our egos got into it. And we're like, oh, okay. So then, fine. Then we just won't do that. We yeah. just won't do anything together like but that. Obviously, we never. It's clarifying. We're not you, close you personally. Looked, you looked but at Matt just, when you said our egos, because that circles us back to the yeah. we. Our egos brought down the ship. Yeah, then. Our I'm egos. still sitting here waiting for. Wow, lucky for you, dude. I'm lucky just saying. For you. We well, have been, no, but here, so you're right, Andy. Aren't you Joe amazing? and I had the egos of but now mm. it's now it's your ego. That's oh yeah, a it's, it's becoming a real. Problem. <laughs> Has he well, ever dragged you up to the side of the set? Yes. Come here. I'm gonna tell you something right now. No, <laughs> nobody Listen safe. Listen to me, Matt. No. When our executive producer comes yes. up, yes. You, oh, you God. bloody well. Oh, nobody. Oh God. Is oh, safe God. on my set. I know, I including know. me. Nobody's safe. Boy, Andy nobody. turned into James Cameron. All I know. Of a I know. Right. When this happened, I make the crew sleep in bunks. It took me ten years. We to work. Make mistletoe mix up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better read those exact lines. And his cheeks are all busted. Oh my like, God! Nobody is safe okay, on this production. And... I will fire myself if I have to. Just remember that, Joe. It was ten days. I will but... fire my fucking self. We wrote it in ten. Andy, days. you're, Andy, you're, you're a not Christmas <laughs> movie. <laughs> It's a Christmas movie it's with children. Yeah. <laughs> Pain is temporary. <laughs> film is forever. Oh, God. Pain is temporary. Nobody's film safe. Is film is forever. Not on my productions. Not on my... <laughs> <laughs> the best part is, I'm there literally like, if you're going to see me, like Andy's like walking around directing, he's dropping things, and I'm picking him up, and I'm like putting him in his yeah. pocket, putting his jacket on, doing yeah. all those things, and then in the movie wraps, and Mom and Andy are sitting there, and he's like, yeah, you know, Joe really picked up the slack on this one. <laughs> I'm sitting there and I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Joe picked uh, up the slack on this one. We don't want anybody getting a big uh, head on your set. You, know? uh, God. you gotta keep everybody on the scene. Joe plane. is the real winner on this one. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. You're welcome. Because of Joe. <laughs> keep Matt under control. Yeah. This one's got an ego. It, it cuts, yeah. Way to go, Matt. Maybe the next time around you'll come through. I just, I just remember. Do you like your coffee, Matt? <laughs> Exactly. It was average. As a man, right. Thanks. Joe really came through. Thanks, Matt. I love you. <clears throat> what is this? Oat milk? You know I love that. Um, My favorite memory of Joe from this last movie is the whole crew. Everybody's like standing outside, freezing. It's nine degree weather. They're out there for hours waiting for Joe and Matt to come outside. And then uh, Matt comes out. And then Joe comes out okay. in a full ski parka, gloves, and he gets into a, a heated car. And he's sitting there and he rolls down the window and he goes to the crew, who are all freezing, standing outside. And he goes, okay. Is it freezing, guys? It's really cold. And he rolls the window back up and he's sitting in this heated car. Ah, uh, it's so funny. Oh, Not to, Matt and I were in tuxedos in that weather, too. Mutiny. Tuxedos. Yeah, for hours that morning. They were. Hours. Yeah. For about an hour. At least several hours. At least an but hour. But as I told you, because of my cold showers and crying. Yeah, I know. It worked True. well for us. I happen to actually be able to deal with the cold quite a bit better than you. And that's why I suggested cryo and cold showers. Actually, Matt did say cryo a lot. Mm. Cryo is really important.